Hey, Frig fam, Corbin here from Northwest Scent. Now today, I'm joined by my girlfriend right here. This is Hadassah. <laughs> and then her three friends. You guys can introduce yourselves if you want. Uh, I'm Justine. I'm Naomi. I'm Sophie. And then, today, <laughs> <laughs> and then today, I have 10 fragrances. There are a bunch of random ones I've grabbed. They've never smelled them. They don't know what they are. I'm just gonna give them each a tester strip with a spray and they'll tell me their reaction. If they like it, don't like it. Maybe when it can be worn and who it can be worn by. So with that, we will get started. There you go. There you go. There you go. Individual ones. I know. Fancy. Okay, so we can start with Justine. What she thinks, maybe. It's kind of a sophisticated smell. It kind of smells a bit peppery, but sharp, but not like assaulting to the smell. If that makes sense. Um, Do you like it? I, I really like it. I think it'd really be good on like a date or like something more formal that you have to be with someone with. Like it's not offensive, but it's also not boring. Yeah, I would say like a nice ceremony or something, like a nice wedding scent. Yeah, okay. this is intoxicating. Is yeah, this... it's kind of like a beachy scent, like a nice mm. waves, fresh scent. I smell like a nice date, like a fancy formal date yeah. or even a wedding. Like if you're going to a wedding, I would totally wear this or like, like I imagine I a guy in a suit would wear this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a fancy guy formal. too. Yeah. yeah. I definitely think formal. It mm -hmm. kind of smells girly. But, like but in a good way. Yeah, in okay. a good way. In a way that it like intrigues me to where I want to smell it more. Yes, yeah. but I feel, like, I feel like if a guy was wearing this, it wouldn't, like he would wear it lightly and it wouldn't be offensive. Yeah, if you spray this like five sprays, it'd be way too much to us like but overwhelming. But like three spray sprays, I feel like. Yes. Do you have an age group that you guys would? I would um, say this is for mid to late twenties, like sophisticated mid twenties, yeah, regular late twenties. Like honestly, yeah, yeah. I it's like, not offensive, but it's like really nice for everyone to wear. I wouldn't say an older generation. I would say yeah. younger, uh, early thirties below. This is like, like a prom thing. This is more mm -hmm. like a college. Maybe if we're going to, like, if we're talking college parties, I would think of it more as like a formal, like a frat. Like yeah, if you're like trying frat. to impress your Tinder date, you're, you're wearing this. This, this is a nice yeah, yeah. Tinder date. Okay. This is great first impression. Okay, yeah. so this was Armani Code Absolute. I'm Ooh. down. Oh, that's great. Oh, I that. that. So I'm gonna go on to the next one, and I'm gonna put these on screen. So okay, I'm, okay. I'm, so the next one, right here. Tell me what you guys think. Thank you. It's the long end, the way that's pointing away. Mm. Here you go. Here you go. Mm. Oh, this smells like tea. This smells a <laughs> lot more like peppery and a little bit more seasidey to me, uh. so a bit more of a casual scent in comparison to the last scent. Okay. I think it would be um, like an older teen, late twenties to wear this. I'm thinking coffee. I feel like a lot of people would be able to rock this regardless of age though. Mm -hmm. I actually like this more, but it kind of smells like eucalyptus. <laughs> that was um, funny or something like that. It smells good. Okay. No, I'm thinking like coffee day. Like this wouldn't be offensive if I was having a nice coffee and I would smell this. Yeah, I mean, and I also agree late twenties. More casual. Yeah. I see a older nice. generation wearing this, but a young older generation. Yeah, I completely agree. Someone who's if coming into meeting, their prime. Yeah, if you're meeting their parents, I would wear this because this would yeah. show like an intellectual yeah. oh, vibe. Yeah. Right? Yes. Like you would impress parents with this smell. And that it is, like since it is less offensive. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. this and you can really spray a, a good amount yeah. on so you can keep it throughout the day and still smell like it's really soft offensive. on the palate. It's not offensive. Mm, yeah. It's not Completely. forward front. It's just soft metal on your yeah. smell palate. I, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. It's a no. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next one. Next so you guys like that one overall though? We like that Should one. We yeah. Just for clarification, that was Creed Aventus. <gasps> oh, I oh, love it. Your favorite. <laughs> Creed is the one that owns Audrey Hepburn's secret. Oh, cool. Okay, it's so we're giving you guys the next one. Here you go. This one smells a lot more uh, spicier in the spice sense that like nutmeg, cloves, and cinnamon is a spice. Nutmeg. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I'm personally not a great fan of this, but 
this would smell great on like someone in the 30s to 40s, like middle age kind of age, going out on a more formal, like presentable event, like a date, a formal event. I can see someone cooking with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, can, I can see a female wearing this. I'm thinking speakeasy. For this some reason, I'm just like, I'm thinking, you know, speakeasy. If you want to dress up, you can. If you want to dress up, this is fine. But I'm thinking like, let's go get a drink because I'm I'm obsessed with nutmeg. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I feel like because you guys said nutmeg and all, it's reminding me just of winter time more. Mm -hmm. like, it's very winter, winter, autumn time. Yeah. I think it's kind of a soft fragrance. But very not strong fragrance in comparison. Like it's not a spring fragrance. It definitely does it, itself known. Does this one smell yeah. more like Western, more Eastern? You know, does it have a certain mm, body? It has a lot of spices, does, does so I want to say with? Eastern because of the spices. I don't know why, but I'm also thinking like Peaky Blinders. I feel like Tommy Shelby would wear this. This is a smell to stand out in because yeah. I don't Maybe smell that's why it's a lot. So if I smelt this in on someone, I'd be like, whoa. Yeah. It's a very right. interesting and I want to know more. It's or like, unique. Yeah. I was about to say it's a very unique flavor. It's not like something that everybody else would wear. It's something that you really want to make yourself known about. You want to be yeah. that different person in the group and you want to wear this and wear it. You want to well, stand out? Some girl will comment and be like, whoa. You it smells different. different. Give me your Al Capone. Yeah. <laughs> because Al Capone's with Tommy Shelby, so that's why I'm thinking yeah. like mob boss or something. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so the last one you guys smelled out was Amouage Jubilation 25, and it's based out of the Middle East. Oh. Spicy. Okay, so here's the next one. Tell me what you guys think of this. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Oh, this scent is kind of, um, it smells a bit like Bath and Body Works, kind of a soapy smell yeah, to this, me. Yeah, I was thinking candles. It's definitely... Sunblock kind of? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking gummy bears. That's all I smell of. I think the age range for this <laughs> would be like late teens, early 20s. I wouldn't wear above your 20s. You're I think it's for more of a casual event. It's nothing like showy, but it's also nothing bad. It's kind of got a sweet scent to it. Like I feel like I would smell this out of a boys' locker room in high school. I agree. Younger yeah. age groups, but it's very so good. sweet. Yeah, or football, sweet. but not in the sweet to where it's like yeah. a lot of sugary sweet, but like in the cologne though. Cologne sweet. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Gummy bears. That's all I smell with this one. <laughs> it does kind of that's so good. Like that smells good. Is this like your favorite? Because the nutmeg one's still my favorite. Oh, I like the mid. The second. One. Okay, so you guys want to hear about it? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so that one is Zerjoff Renaissance Italian. It has honey, tobacco, and lemon. Wow. So you guys like it? Oh, I really like that one. I think that, that was the best one we've smelled so far. I think no. our second one we smelled, the more formal one, was the best one so we smelled. So that was that too sweet that for me. One. If you smelled like too much of that, it'd probably give me a headache because it's so sweet. But like if you smelled a teeny bit like it, like just spray it for oh, you yeah. and if it lasts for a while, that's great. But if you have that trailing behind yeah. you, that'd be great. It's, it's like be not strong. obnoxious. You don't want to spray yourself a ton with that one. No. Yeah. Okay. I'd be so, so we're gonna go on to the next one. Cool. Set. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oops. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Oh. This is this one has a lot more of a herbally um, front scent to it. Like when I initially smell it, it smells like sage and rosemary and kind of like fresh plants smell. So I would say this is good for like mid twenties to honestly late forties. Like it's a very versatile smell. I think if I smell this on anyone, I would not be mad regardless of formal or casual occasion. I'm thinking like this is a guy that just stepped out of a garden and just like a few hours, which I'm not upset about. Yeah, I, like yeah, I wouldn't be mad about this because, but it kind of reminds me of like my grandma's house in a way that she always had a garden. She was always in the garden gardening. So you know like, what it is? I like, only feel. It is. So if I smell this on you, I probably feel like I'd want to be your friend and want to know more about you because you're, it's it's very homey, like you suggested. Or this is, yeah. I was just gonna say, you could wear this anywhere. I feel like this is casual. This, casual this is, a, con con this is a conversation yeah. starter for sure. This is like a third or fourth date. Like you're getting comfortable with the person. This is like reminding me of late twenties. Yeah. Or for the older. You're interested. Yeah. In. This is where you're like, eh, okay, this is our third date. We're more comfortable, and I want to stand out a little bit. 
Nice. I um, like this one more than our second one. This is like a lot more of an everyday. So I wouldn't want to smell this on someone the first time. I want to smell it on a few, like you said, a few nights into it. What was it? So this one is Tom Ford Beau de Jour. Mm. It has rosemary, oak moss, lavender oil, lavender. Mm -hmm. The lavender. So, lavender and rosemary. Very kind of high scale, fougere, barbershop kind of scent. Yeah. All right. Really great. I really like that one. I think that's a really great over. Like you're a all lady. Her. You're gonna like that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a botanical person, so yeah. I think that's a great all rounder. Yeah. Okay, so the next one. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Wow. That, <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> Smells like my clothes. Tell us how you feel. Yeah. Smells like vodka. <laughs> but not in a bad way, a little bit of a bad way, but not in a terrible way. Personally, to me, this is my least favorite, but I, I agree. I think this one is definitely for something of an older generation. It smells like more of a mature smell than what someone in their teens or 20s would wear. It smells like something in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s even would wear if they want to feel bright. Yeah. This it's a bright scent. It's got a lot of citrus, but it's got a lot of like woodland smells yeah. to it, like sage wood. I feel like we're in the 60s and we're in a hiccup. It's definitely an older person. Yeah. It's an older yeah. This, And it kind of smells like the frat year, frat boy years. So it's kind of with like a party the woodland, scent. with the woodland smell. Yeah, just a I feel like this is a frat scent. boy bathroom or bedroom. It's something that in you a good easily... way, if that's possible. Yeah. Like not the nasty frat the, boy bathroom, but like, but like they're that. trying. They're trying frat boy. You could vibe. easily be overpowered by this scent, but if it's Two, been worn by three. someone specifically, not a group, but just one person, I think it would be a very unique smell for them. This one's also. Day. Three sprays max. It's also what heavy on the roof of your mouth. Like, yeah. I feel this one more in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so that one was uh, Memo Paris African Leather. So it has notes, of course, of leather. Also has cardamom and spices. Okay, so we'll do the next one. Tell me if you guys think this one's similar, maybe a little different. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Oh. This smell is a lot more fresh. Yeah. It smells a lot more like fresh linen. Then like spices, it smells like you've just walked off a beach, like you're in your early 30s, mid 40s, maybe late 20s at best. It's very refreshing, non-offensive, non, very forward, but like who wouldn't love the smell? Yeah, I, mean, I personally love I like the it, smell. Yeah. It's this not, is so fresh. Yes, yeah, like, so fresh. Well, no, I wanna when I see you in the morning for that co coffee day, I want you in this because okay, so this is a morning. Will, this, this is a morning. Is a this will yeah. wake me up. This will make me interested in you. Do I know why he wears this to Leonardo DiCaprio? I can see that. Yeah, I, I, can see I don't know why. But I'm like see straight. Yeah. But I'm thinking like late Leonardo DiCaprio. Like the one that we know now, not the nineties, but like the yacht. Yeah. Well this is nice. It's definitely not offensive. It mm -hmm. smells like Kind of a lot. I feel like I've smelled this before. Yes. Yes. It Somehow. feels fresh. It feels common, but not yeah. common. It stands itself out from like Axe body spray or anything of the oh, generic that's type. Yes. Like, I definitely nice. think it would take you above the standard of yeah. just being that body deodorant man. Yeah. yeah, to have the basics, but then to have this come in and this is a standout one for sure. I so agree. I'd remember you if you were in this and I met you. This is also more of a mouth. Smell than a nose. This is a. This is good every day. I feel like good every day. Clean. clean. You can't You're a clean wrong. man if you wear yeah. this. <laughs> okay, so that one was Chanel Allure Home Sport. Chanel. Yeah, that's why. And it has yeah. a mandarin orange, mint, tonka bean, and then musk as well. I can smell the orange. Yeah. It's the orange yeah, and it's the, the musk. orange. It's the orange. Yeah. Okay, so the next one. Is this the last one? No, we got two more thank after you. this. Ooh, thank you. Ooh. You're welcome. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Ooh. Uh, this one okay. is very forward in its spices. This is pine I, tree. It's <laughs> pine tree. No, I agree. I think if you're wearing this one, you're probably in your late 40s or above. Like yes. you're more middle age or above. Like maybe you're a little bit It's a sophisticated, um, matured smell, I think. It's got a lot of like 
pine wood. It's got some spices behind it. It's not. I think it it's every day if you're older. Really right? spices. I see more like trees. I smell tree. Like, I smell trees. What I don't like a tree. It smells like a tree. I want it. I I want a real man to wear this. Yeah. Like a big. Like I'm <laughs> expecting a Ron Swanson plaid. I'm gonna go in my cabin and That's what I see because I smell pine tree, but. Yeah, I smell that pine tree. But it's um, sophisticated. It's, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is nice. I don't think it's something for a younger generation to wear, honestly. I think it's something for someone more established in their own identity. To Middle wear. age slash older. I when agree. he has his life together and he wears this, that's like when you know what it is. He has a cabin, you know? <laughs> Not, yeah, like a fancy. So do you guys want to hear about it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, of so this was Terry Armez, Owen Pence Vetiver. Has citruses at the top. Then vetiver and spices in the middle, mm -hmm. amberwood in the base. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I think we're going to take all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got two more. Ooh. Here we go. Tell me what you guys think of this one, please. Thank you. Thank you. I like smelling them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is mm -hmm. also kind of. Oh my gosh. Bubblegum Factory. This one has a very warm scent factory. to it. It does have a bubblegum fragrance to it. I think someone in their mid twenties, early thirties would wear this. This is it's like, definitely warmer, more like all encompassing, like a big hug of the scent. If that makes I sense. This is yeah. too warming of a hug. I, yeah. I honestly like. I'd get overwhelmed. Personally, if I don't like too this. much. Yeah, I feel like if I, I met much. Willy Wonka. Yeah, this is a Willy, Willy Wonka. 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 Willy Wonka. And it's great in certain aspects, but if you're running please do not no. do not spray yourself with this too much because this can give me a headache. Oh yeah, yeah. this is a lot. Yeah. It smells good, but not you do not to, overwhelm yourself with this one. You also have to remember the fragrance is really strong when you first spray it. That's and true. It, it, it yeah. takes 15, 20 minutes for it to die down. So. Yeah, this die down would probably smell amazing. Yeah, this one. die down would smell great. Yeah. So if you I think do, would wear it. Would yeah, if you do spray yourself a lot, Hang out inside for a while before you <laughs> or, <go out. laughs> or roll the windows down in your car. Yeah, let it air out a bit. Because yes. I can, I, I smell this and it smells fantastic, but it's an overwhelming fantastic. So wash out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that was Parfums to Marley Layton, mm. and it has lavender, vanilla, green apple, and cardamom. I can smell the vanilla. The vanilla yeah. comes through it's to me. It's the vanilla and the green it's apple. So sweet. Sweet. Really it's the gr vanilla and the green apple. Okay, so last, last one. one. Let's do Ooh. it. Favorite. Here we go. Okay. I think I know my favorite. <laughs> I think I do too. Here's the last one. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Ooh. you. Mm. Wow. Um, this one smells personally to me a lot more like clean linen. Like you've got your stuff together in your life. You're very uh, sophisticated. You could be anywhere from early 20s to late 30s, yeah. depending on where you are in your life. But I think this is someone who's confident in what they're living in. I feel like this, where. Yeah, this has more citrus than the Chanel one, and I appreciate it more. Mm. I think this is a person where if I smelled this on them, I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah. I dig it. Yeah, I can't put an age group on this because mm -hmm. I can see everyone being really well with this scent, doing really well with it. Um, it smells fresh. It smells like I want to keep smelling you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's a question mark at the end of the scent because I want to know more about it. I like it. Yeah, I, I like think it. it's it's not very offensive. It kind of tastes or tastes. It smells like that one that we smelled before that was also fresh. Mm -hmm. the, the Chanel. Chanel. Yeah, yeah. Chanel. Yeah. It smells like the one. Chanel one a little bit, but I like it. It's definitely everyday, like everyday cologne. I think. Maybe. Yeah. Which okay. one was this? Okay, so that was Eve Saint Laurent Y Live. Mm -hmm. It has bergamot, ginger, juniper berry, and That's sage. Ginger was bergamot, bergamot, bergamot and juniper. juniper. It's a bergamot and juniper. I that mean, is such a forward smelling yeah. smell that is so unique and personally to me fantastic. Yeah, I like that one. That's why I think it was like had a question mark at the end of it because there was something that wasn't this had something that none of the other ones had and yeah. that's what intrigued me I and wanted me to come to the it again. It makes me think of like an Earl Grey and I appreciate it's that. It's Earl Grey but not Earl Grey. No. It's fantastic. I'm pretty sure that I would wear this. Okay, so I think in general the clean ones, so Y Live and the Chanel mm -hmm. were the best. Oh, for sure, the yeah. The most well respected. Okay. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like as well as comment. Always enjoy seeing your guys' comments as well as subscribe while you're there and then hit the bell notification so you guys stay notified for new videos. And with that, hope you guys have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.